character is an RF build. They got eighty yellow maps. Tank was life. Polar never. Yeah. Okay. I guess RF's a okay first hardcore character. Usually pretty hard to die on that if you're not getting one shot. Um. Try out this stealth mechanic. Yeah. Um. for a new character can be rough. Yeah, if you don't have the defenses, there's a lot of stuff that'll one-shot you. The piety fight before Katava is also really rough. That's probably harder than Katava. Just to have a couple crawlers. Still let me throw a steel ball there if I want to. I played hardcore in early PoE, like back in 2014, 2015, 2013. It was before it was on Steam. Could not imagine wanting to play hardcore nowadays. Buggies, hell under leaves, with PP on your cart, loaded completely, and die. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Another tower. Probably a lot better when you get the Overlord card. Um, I throw a Steel Ball here. I'm not sure how much that even helps. I think I just do this. The Rider Grapple on the Vulcan Wave makes things so much easier. It's funny that during the early days of PoE, you were dying to bullshit mechanics, but it was bullshit because poorly designed. Now you die to MMO like bosses and encounters because they need to pose a threat even to an 8k HP character with 90% damage reduction. Yeah. I don't know, people still die to the, the classic bullshit. Like, I think the way you die to the bosses is how you expect to die to bosses, right? Like, if you don't know the boss mechanics, you will die to the bosses. Or in my case, if you have terrible short-term memory, you will also die to the bosses.
I don't know if I have ever succeeded Maven memory game. I think I have died every single memory game. Um, East module. Can you realize a little too fast? I guess it's fine once they get mothership. This kind of mechanics is throw a puzzle. Throw in a puzzle for a three year old somehow we still screw it up every time. Yeah. It's easy to remember if you say it out loud. Right, top, right, top, left, right. Yeah. You would think. Getting stuck in a game because you're convinced the answer can't be that easy is a great time. <laughs> Uh... The amount of times that I had to look up a guide because I didn't know how to progress a fight is also a bit silly. Like, I was doing one of the Shaper Guardians last night for the first time in years. And I did not know how to make him reappear after he did the smokescreen phase. I had to portal out and look up a guide. obscure info in all games. Like, where the early Pokemon games designed around wikis if you wanted to complete your Pokedex. Just to know where everything is. I feel like it's just an aspect of gaming, but knowledge is always going to be important, and the wikis are a shortcut to get that knowledge. Interested in single-player RPGs that have strange mechanics and explain anywhere in-game. Yeah. I don't know, some of those mechanics you're just not supposed to know about, but... Depends on the example. Can't get more fangs. I would change this gamer as a kid. We keep trying until we find the right thing. Now we look it up. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'm not actually sure how much the existence of wikis has changed game design. I think it's just more the way players engage with the games.
tower. Something depends on how the dev views how the player should do it. It's different for every game. Yeah. I don't know, like, what's an example of a game you would say is designed around wikis? before they added the crafting menu. <laughs> okay, that might be fair. <laughs> I don't think I have an easy counter-argument to that one. Let's get the storm collars. Let's shield these. Let's get banging. I want mech rage. Let's protect this tower. Right, it would require a lot of patience and experimenting to progress past the first 10% of the game. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know enough about Terraria. Well, using the wiki is a lot different than the game being designed around the wiki. Terraria blind, missed so much stuff, spent ages. Yeah, but I don't think you're supposed to find everything, right? Like, part of the fun of the game is being able to keep playing and find new stuff as you play more. Like, it's not so much that the game is designed around the wiki in that sense, but that you're subverting the design of the game with the wiki. City of Heroes had a few achievements that one simply... Well... How much is doesn't stumble into? Like, how obscure are we talking? Achievements also aren't, like, a core part of the game, right? They're an extra thing. Skyrim came out today, and he would use the wiki for alchemy. Yeah. Like, a lot of classic games were designed with experimentation in mind. That nowadays, if you try to make a game like that, you just get people looking up the wiki. I need to arrange these overlords, too. Are we still doing this beacon? Can you chill? Thank you.
<laughs> TV boats. Yeah. Like, Noitz is an example of a game where probably 90% of the players that are engaging with the obscure endgame stuff are using a wiki to do it. But, like, I don't think it was designed with a wiki in mind. There are technically in-game hints on a lot of it. It's just the in-game hints are obscure. I mean, no one's saying that it's not going to be more efficient to play with a wiki. Like, of course the wiki will make you more efficient. But it's... you're not designed around being that efficient. The dev isn't expecting you to be that efficient. Things are cool. I'm gonna take range. I think we clear. Star sector going into that game blind is going to get fleet killed. That's the intended outcome, though, right? Like, I thought Star Sector was all about trial and error. Learning from deaths. Like, that's why the game has modes that aren't as punishing for death. Easier to play with a wiki or need a wiki. Well, not even necessarily need a wiki, but designed to be played with a wiki. Is that an actual literal tie? <laughs> Let's go. I don't actually need air spec for any of the players. multiplayer games because they in fact require you to be somewhat efficient and mostly designed on the players using external sources of information. If most MMOs past some point are completely miserable to play blindly. Hmm. It definitely eventually gets to that point. I'm trying to think if I've played MMOs on release. Because naturally, as the game develops, and there's a player economy, the people with more information are going to be hugely advantaged, right? 
which increases the importance of wikis. Blind progression. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good example, right? Like, the raids are intended to be playable blind, even if most people don't end up playing them blind. Like, the intended game pattern is you fail them a bunch of times as you figure out the mechanics. Heard Modern Wilds unplayable at higher levels without plugins. I have heard similar things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about WoW. I don't know, are plugins a wiki? I don't know exactly how the plugins in WoW work. Clear Typhoons. Essentially just cover flanks for these. More boats. You get access to information that the vanilla game doesn't provide or obscure. My understanding is a lot of these plugins are around, like, information that you program into them, though. It's, like, hard to see boss mechanics that the plugins fix. Or, like, they give you the ability to place markers on the ground. Help coordinate between the team. So it's a lot of plugin support for players to be able to find and see things you normally wouldn't. Yeah. You can spell out certain attacks and phases, help you with memory or knowledge. Sure. But I don't know, is that the game being designed around it or just the game being significantly easier with it? I don't know enough about WoW. Oh, wait, why did I think green was the disconnected player? Oh, whoops. I don't know how much that really would have changed, but... Yeah... I want to make a EM marksman or two, just to shut off the anti-missile. Easier when it's trying to feel expecting you to do it, end up being forced to download plugins. I don't, I don't disagree that there would be social pressure to use plugins in the same way that there would be social pressure to use a wiki. But it's more about is the intention of the devs when they designed the encounter that you would have these plugins, or is it something that just gets added on later and ends up being forced by the community? to have better clear rates.
is about as expected. In Final Fantasy, it's expected. It's still expected. You don't have... You don't, so it's a big advantage to those who do. But it's more fun without mods. Hmm. Interesting. Depends on the nature of the player. Well, no, we're not talking about the nature of the player at all. We're purely talking about dev intentions here. Of how the game is intended to be played. Like, I don't contest that there are a lot of games where almost everybody uses the wiki. It's just, are the games intended that players will use the wiki, or is it just a side effect? Super aerial spec. Not beating everything after. Did wiki use no matter the game. Yeah, I don't disagree. Like, in reality, players are going to use wikis and make wikis, and that's going to be a thing anytime there's any kind of knowledge requirement for a game. But the initial contention was someone was frustrated that games were being designed with the intention of people using wikis. And I don't know how true that is. Because you can point to classic games where if people were playing them nowadays, they would also use wikis for everything. But wikis didn't exist when those games were being made. Darn. I guess back in the day it was strategy guides. No, no, maybe some of them were designed around strategy guides. 